Hi guys, uh, Mike Martin here. Right, uh, the dynamic linker is pretty much ready to be to be shared soon, so you can be able to use it for generating links on different websites. And I will go through a proper webinar with people, but I'm just going to do a quick show today of exactly how you could use it. For example, if you was going to create a load of major city um, pages, right? So you get your magic page like this, and. Wait there, did I? Yes, I did, cool, right, brilliant. Okay, so say for example, I was gonna put a dynamic linking structure in here, okay? So say I wanted this to link out to a different website uh, in lots of different areas, and I wanted to export them at HTML and upload them to lots of expired domains and stuff like that. Okay, so say, we did, we'd, we'd first of all, we did, sorry. First of all, we'd highlight it, and we come over to our links, and what you do is you, you create the HTML link that looks like that, I mean, sorry, the spin text link, so you're gonna have one, two, three. So I've just chose three random websites here. Okay, you get rid of all of the spaces. Okay, so after all I've done is I've spun three separate URLs using the location tab at the end, because I know the structure's gonna work on these. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna highlight that, you're gonna drag that over to here, and you're gonna paste it in there, and click and paste. Okay, so that's gone red, so that tells me something's not right with the link, okay? So what I would then do is click on text and go and have a look. Okay, as you can see, what it's done when I've set up the link is it's automatically put that HTTP in there before. Because I've already added that to the link, that would have broke the link. So when it pops up red like that, just have a quick look at the, the code section, and I can see hey, href equals, and that should be, and then there's the start of my spin text, and there's the end of my spin text. And then there's the code that's going to be sat between the um, that that's going to spin as well. So it's going to be car, vehicle, automobile, lorry. We could have unlocking. We can have. Let's put another. Hi. Opening. Sorry guys, we've loads of messages on my phone here as well. I've not turned the sound off. Um. Okay. So then visual, and that should be blue now. So once it's blue, you know that the, the link's working perfectly. So I'm going to click update. Okay, and this, this is just a crap site that I use for, for sh showing people it's just, just messing around. Um, and I'm using it with a dynamic linker at the minute. So as you can see, vehicle, vehicle unlock in London would take you to over. I think that page, for some reason it had a 7D at the end. Just let me check the code of that again. There's nothing wrong with it. If you're doing magic page to magic page sites, you don't want to be putting location in here. If you're doing magic page to magic page, you want to be using slug, okay? What a slug is, is the URL. So that'll actually pull the correct URL in. I'm doing these sites and I'm pointing them at some HTML sites. So the reason I'm, I'm, I'm using location is the, the structure of the URL actually pulls the locations in. Okay, so uh, view the page. And obviously, go to a different page and it's going to link out to Lorry Unlocking, so on and so forth, as you've seen plenty of times in the past. Right, so we're going to go over to your Dynamic Backlink Builder now, yep, yeah, which is down here. Click your Dynamic Backlink Builder, I'm going to select the HTML version. First of all, I'll start with London, I've typed this in already for you, but put it in there. So, what that's going to do is it's going to install it in a subdirectory. Rewrite URLs, which will get rid of the HTML bit at the end, and then there's the there's the area that I'm gonna start off doing it with first. And these the only two bits you need to change is the London bit and this bit when you build second, third, fourth sites or second, third, and fourth uh, folders with all your dynamic back links in, and you just change obviously your links around. So this is gonna be your page title section, which I've shown people in the past, and this is your file names. You can add as many of them as you want and spin it, so you can start with location at the beginning of it, in the middle of it, at the end, and all different stuff. And at the minute, there's two different templates on it. I'm gonna use the basic one, because the, the, the template two is not gonna be published straight away. So we've got a basic template, which is, is pretty crap. You can mess around with it, but it's only for backlinks at the minute. We are gonna make it so that this creates smart looking web pages as well, but it's, it's a bit further down the line. Save your settings. And then when you come back later, them settings will be saved exactly as they are. Now, the more pages you've got installed on a website, the slower the export's going to be, even if you're only exporting 34 pages like we are. So when I click export, it still needs to go through everything to do it. 
So it'll open a thing and then you just wait for this bit to populate uh, with the HTML pages and, and offer you a download link. So those 34 pages are just within a one mile radius of London. So that you know, oh, there you go. So it's downloaded now. So if I click download zip, that's gonna pull the download zip into my download folder. If I click that, it will now open it for me. So it's opened it inside there for me. Now I can come over to my HTML editor. I'm inside a website called Vehicle Keys and you go inside the public underscore HTML folder. Okay, uh, that, that is the folder that's just unpacked from that number 15. So I can drag that London folder in give it a minute or two to, to install. Now you can create an index page on the websites if you want and pull them across. I think I've shown in my last video, I don't bother doing that. But what I do do, now you have to duplicate it. You can't just go in and change one of your pages to index, okay? Because what will happen is the city short code will have a broken link in it. So what you do is you come in and you look for the one that you want to change into the index. So I'm just looking for London. go all right okay so I'm going to duplicate the page and then I'm gonna oh sh sugar then I'm gonna rename it index okay now an index.html file for anyone that doesn't know is your home page of your website so now when I go over to vehicle keys uk forward slash London that index page should, should be what shows up so if I go to vehicle Keys dot uk forward slash London and hit it. Boom! Right. Oh, there's um. <laughs> I did the form before in the page. I've, I've used the same <laughs> same video as I did before, so it's, it's brought the form in with it. Uh, but as you can see, vehicle unlock in London. Now, if I go over to Coleman Street, it's going to be auto opening Coleman Street. But every time we we'll pull it up, there's a different URL down the bottom. So that one's going to MJ Martin site. Uh, that one's now going to go to extremelocks.com site. Billy and Cam, that one's going to go to Mike's Mobile Locksmith. So as you can see, it comes through to a different website each time. Okay, so all these dynamic links now in every area within a uh, one mile radius of London 34, dynamic backlinks built straight away. Okay, now I'm going to use the same, look, that one's in Mike's Mobile Locksmith. Now I'm going to use the same website this time but that's how quickly you can build a site with 20 30 40 links if you're buying an expired domain you just drag the folder in create the index so let's say I went back over to that one now back over to this here where we were before and I come up to the top and I change this to say Bristol okay come down to the bit here get rid of London type in Bristol I think Bristol's in the southwest which should be on there it is yep Right, we don't want a thousand miles, it's gonna give us loads. Let's try three miles around Bristol because it's not as, as populated as London. That's a bit too many areas. Right, so. Try two miles around Bristol. There we go, two miles, 37 locations. Okay, so Bristol, well, so I've just done Bristol, I've done that. So remember how this, if this page is spun amazingly, you can actually add and take out backlinks really, really quickly. Put loads of different page titles in, loads and loads and loads of these by adding them all the way down here. So there's always different page titles and you want to be adding loads and loads of file names. So there's hundreds of different file names. Okay. And then we'll save the settings. So it's, this time it's Bristol instead of being London, Whitechapel, as you can see there. It's all the areas in London. And then we're going to click export again. And as before, it might take a couple of minutes because I've got eight and a half thousand pages installed. Um, and as you can see, when you're exporting as well, your city's short code works the way it does on your website. So you don't even need, you can, there's actually a section in there where you can build a, you can tell it to build your sitemap, an XML sitemap, but you don't really need it because you've got, your city's short code pulls everything that you need in. Uh, pick the lock bridge and bridge without. So if I go to Langbourne, see, pick the lock, Langbourne, and Cornhill, blah, 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 lots of different areas, Lime Street, Car opening Lime Street, I'll, I'll do a dynamic link out to a page I've got for Lime Street for extremelocks.com um, and so on and so forth. So, so it builds your dynamic linking structure really, really quickly. So now if we go back to here and we scroll down to the bottom, you see now, see these are all areas in Bristol. 
So if I download this zip, same as before, click on it, okay, so it's open the Bristol version there. Come back over to here, back into the public underscore HTML. As you can see, it's open the Bristol folder there now. So I grab the Bristol one, pull that across. And you can see down the bottom here, I'm just waiting for that to install, once that's installed. So if you imagine, if you build one national website, and you actually go in and change the template about on the HTML part of this and make the template look half decent, you could have a, a, a spun, well internal linked website pretty fast. So I'm gonna open that again, then I'll find the Bristol page, but you could do every major city in the country pretty quick, like this, using these as actual websites. So, just let me, so remember the name index.html, that's gonna give us a home page on the Bristol. So now if I come back over here where we were before on London, um, P -R -I -S -T -O -L. and there we go, boom, and then it's spun for Bristol. So all the areas around Bristol and now dynamically linking out to my sites, the three sites I've put the spun stuff in, so it's going into Max Mobile Locksmiths. Uh, if I click on that one, it'll go into mjmartin.co.uk. As you can see, these are just sites I've thrown up to to show you for the video. Um, Bristol, so these are literally duplicate to that Mike's Mobile Locksmith site. Bristol, that'll take you to MJ Martin again, which is a duplicate. Right, and then in addition to that, in fact, let me just check this out for you, one sec, because if you look on the page, we've not done hardly anything here. Right, I've not filled in the SEO settings, I've not put any schema in, I've not done anything like that, and you're still gonna get on every single page this is pretty cool, I think. Basic schema with geo coordinate, right. Basic schema with your geo location data in it. So the link's coming from a page that's automatically got local business, lorry unlocking Bristol, postal address, Bristol Southwest BS1, geo coordinates, the longitude and latitude. Now you can fill in this stuff inside the website, the same as your camera magic page. You can use all your magic page features inside here. Okay, so, so if I was to go into here now and add an image here, let's see if we've got anything in the media library on this site. Oh, we haven't. I've got nothing on this computer. You just add an image, okay, stick the image in, here and set it to 100% wide and then the top of that page you'd have an image straight across a banner image straight away you change all this stuff inside of let me just update that page before we leave inside of here export template you actually just edit what you want to show inside this bit here for now so there's the three links that we're seeing at the top of the site there. There's your content, that's the actual content that you're putting on the page. So you can delete everything off here and just have that content in there. And you can actually build a 100% width page just inside of your inside of your editor in your, in your magic page and it will export it as, as a full page. So you can make them look all right, pretty, pretty easy just by adding an image at the top changing these menu links to, to whatever, click to call or whatever you want. Um, if you wanna use them as sites that is, but if you're just doing the dynamic linking and you wanna fire it out across, so if I went back into that now and went back over to the magic page and said, let's wait there, I've got them wrote down. Right, let's do Bath, because Bath is our Exeter. So if I went back into here now, clicked on, where has it gone? Dynamic backlinking, export, Exeter, come back down here, delete that. And if you've done really good spinning here, guys, this is literally gonna enable you to just export loads of sites really, really quick. There you go, 21 locations in Exeter. We'll click save. Um, in fact, I'll go and do the template two on this one just to show you the difference it's not it's not going to be in there yet because we're still working on trying to get it looking better but let's export a template two i don't know what it's going to look like what we're doing here x 
Make sure to turn that way. Okay, so we download the zip, click download zip, click on it to unlock it or to open it or whatever you want to call it. There's the Exeter file, let's pull it across. I don't know what this is going to look like myself, this. I know this is some sort of theme he's working, messing around with. I'm just waiting for that to fully download. Okay, so we find the Exeter and change it to index. But you see how quick, if you buy an expired domains with this, how fast you can build backlinks to all of your pages in all different areas all over the country. And you can do it to multiple websites really, really easy. So we're gonna duplicate that page again. I'm gonna call it index. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back over to the site. I'm gonna type in Exeter. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, okay, see, so this, 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 this one's looking a little bit different. Okay, so we started to put some sort of theme together. Themes are not going to be there at events straight away, but as you can see, these are going to be able to look pretty badass pretty quick, and you're going to be able to do some cool stuff with them. And again, if we click that now from the Exeter part of this site, that takes you to extremelocks.com, the Exeter page. Um, if we go back over and click on St. James, wherever that happens to be, that might not work as an outsource link. I don't think that. What it does, it works on St. James for Extreme Locks again, a place called St. James, uh, Wanford. Let's click on the, the external link vehicle unlocking uh, in Wanford. That's for Mike Mobile Locksmith. So, as you can see, you dynamically can link in across different websites, different pages, really, really quickly. And if you know about, if you understand Magic Page Plugin, you can set it so that it does, you can even spin where the paragraphs are, where the link's going to be how often the link shows up. Some pages don't have to have links at all because you can set it so that the link only shows up 50% of the time. I don't know if people remember how that works, but that's literally down, all over below, where is it? New random short code, new. I think it might be. Random, there we go, yes, that one. So you can put your links in here if you wanted. Uh, paste your links in there set them to only show up 25% of the time, yeah? Whatever you put between them brackets there, it's gonna show up on one in four pages. So if you do a thousand pages, 250 pages are gonna have external dynamic backlinks spread across three different websites if that's what you want, or five different or 10 different websites, um, and, and it'll work the same. So, uh, all that helps guys. I'm gonna do a webinar on this anyway, as soon as it's ready. We're really close to being ready. We're actually working this weekend to get it done. Um, I can't wait. All these are excited as I am about it because we've we've using expired domains, dynamic backlinking like this, putting it across multiple sites, using different IP addresses and different servers and stuff like that. It's going to be really powerful for ranking your mass page websites because most people don't do a huge amount of internal linking to the mass page website internal pages. They tend to do, and I have done in the past as well. I always used to target the major cities and let the linking structure of the 10 closest locations as with this do kind of siphon the the, uh, the the link juice down but this is going to enable you now to, to have links built to every single page on the website really really easily and really really quick okay guys thanks very much cheers bye bye